What's up guys? It's Mike, back with the M. Dawson Project, here with another video. And so today we actually don't have anything Travis Scott related. I know that's what I've been posting most of. But I do have a couple things coming up in the mail, hopefully within the next week or two. We should have a couple things and a couple more videos coming out. But today, we're actually going with Apple. I ended up buying a new watch. So I have the Series 4 right here. I actually just got another band, which is the Nike Sport Loop, because I haven't been able to try one of those. And they're actually pretty comfortable, and I really like this, and I'll probably rock this most of the time on this new watch. But I ended up ordering this thing uh, from Apple, I think the day that they released them, for like their pre-order or whatever. And so it finally just got here. So let's go ahead and take a look. And so on the front here, you can't really see it that well, but it does say Apple. It's just kind of white and like, there you go. You can see it a little bit. It's lowered right there. And then on the back, it's gonna tell you, I actually ended up picking up the new color. Uh, I think it's called blue aluminum case, but I think they're calling it deep navy or something. I'm not 100% sure, but it's not much going on the front or back besides that simple easy packaging then you got this nice pull tab up top which we'll go ahead and pull and then that easily comes off you pull the rest of the plastic off and then we have it right here and then i believe we just pull these pull tabs i think the four came in a box like this i never picked up a five just because I ended up getting the 4 a little bit before the 5 even came out. Didn't really want to rip this, but there we go. But so, this kind of opens up just like that. And then we'll pull this stuff to the side real quick. And then that's what you get inside this little flat thing. Uh, it has some nice artwork with updated loops. So you can see like the braided up here, uh, normal. And then you can see like the sport loop, the new like leather loop one. That's pretty nice. They always have good presentation, but we're gonna throw that to the side because it's not doing anything right now. First up, I'm actually gonna go for the band first because I ended up not getting a normal band. I ended up picking up the Melanie's loop because if you bought it with a watch or any of their $100 bands, they seem to have been like $50 cheaper than just buying the band outright so I figured I would go with this uh, now rather than paying a hundred dollars to try this and I think at some point these were a little bit more expensive but you guys can correct me down in the comments below but I am excited to finally get to try one of these because I've seen them for years since they've been out and I've never tried one and never really wanted to spend that much money on it $50 wasn't terrible so but I guess real quick up front there's the band itself on the back there's a little bit of information not too much going on on these band band boxes and then you get presented with apple watch right there and then open that up you get some instructions and stuff and then you open this side up and you get the band itself so i do want to take a look at this real quick and see how it looks if i can get it out and then so i think that's it yeah, that's it for that. Just comes in like that. We're throwing this down too. And it feels pretty nice. It's right there. Pretty sturdy. Feels good. I do like the look. I kind of wish it was a little bit. It might just be the light. I'm hoping it looks a little bit darker than that. Because it's the, uh, I believe the space gray or graphite. I can't remember which one. But it does feel nice. It's definitely got some weight. The heaviest band I think I own. And it looks pretty nice. I do like that it's magnetic too. Right there, you got the magnetic clasp that feels pretty strong. It's got something on top of it, I guess, for protection. So I'm gonna go ahead, there you go, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the watch out. Now, I ended up going with the 44 millimeter one because that's the size right there, and I like the biggest size so far. Uh, this year, though, I didn't go with the, uh, the cellular one. I ended up going with just the GPS, but as you can see right there, you can actually see the color right there, and it is that blue, that new blue one, which is pretty neat. And it's such a small box. This is a lot smaller than either of the two boxes I've sent in back behind me in the closet. So they have, on the back here, have some pull tabs or something, I guess just to be able to open it. So let's see if we can get this open. It's starting to, voila. 
So nothing on the inside or anything like that. And then you get greeted with your watch right there and then some paperwork. I'm not gonna end up, I'm not gonna take out the paperwork, but that's right there, that's what it comes in. I set that to the side and then of course this year is probably everybody knows by now is that they only come with your uh, hockey puck to charge it but I don't even use that I actually have somewhere back over there I have a Nomad I think base station or something like that but it charges uh, the phone AirPods and has its own dedicated watch charger so this will be nice for traveling just something easy and an extra one in case something ever happens to that, that's fine. But honestly, not having the brick is no big deal to me because I'm gonna use the other one and I've got plenty of the small little five watt bricks and any other type of brick that I would need. And then so let's get to the actual watch itself. I'm excited because they came out with these new colors. They did this in the product red one. And the product red one I really liked, but I felt like I would probably wear this more than I would want a bright red watch. And so far from what it looks like, it does come in that blue like sleeve, which I think it's just paper. It's not like your uh, old ones that they used to come in. I think they had like this nice like fabric protecting it. There we go. And so yeah, you just have this little piece of paper on the back here. You can see these new sensors and stuff. And then you can see that light. That's probably cause that, but the blue, Blue looks pretty nice. I like it. It's closer. And there's the blue versus the, I guess, space gray or whatever you want to call this one. And still, again, 44 millimeters. Looks pretty nice. I wanted a Nike one pretty badly. That was originally what I was going to go for, but you couldn't get these colored ones in the Nike. So I think it looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and power it on and set it up, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. And so I got this thing set up, ready to go, and I gotta say, I wish I had better light in here because it's not doing this blue justice, but the blue looks really nice. Uh, pretty subtle too, as it's a deep blue. Not gonna be the most noticeable thing or pop out at you like the red would, which again, I think I would like the red somewhat. And I'd love to see one in person now. And then again with that Melanie's loop on, and it's actually pretty comfortable. Enjoying it. Uh, first watch now with the uh, always on display. So when I go like that, you can still kind of see it. I have no idea if it is actually brighter. It does seem a little bit snappier, like since uh, it's supposed to be like 20%, I think faster than the five. And again, I'm going from a four to the six. So again, I like it. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I don't have that much more to say. So yeah, so I think like the main reason I actually picked this up besides like it being uh, another generation past or two generations past mine is really for that blue and that always on display. Other than that, I don't think I really would have picked one up this year because there's not that much of a change to it because it still looks the same, works the same, just has a nice color and an always on display. But I think it was worth it. I like it. Super happy about this uh, Melanie's loop. It is actually pretty comfortable and seems pretty nice and sturdy. And the magnet works. It doesn't feel like it's uh, gonna fly off at any point. So yeah, but if you guys have one of these Series 6s, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think, whether you think it was worth the upgrade or not. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.